Hilton. The, the goals that I've, I've wanted to accomplish with the Board of Education, I believe I've achieved. I've been here seven years. That's a long time for a superintendent, a superintendent to be in one district. And I have other career aspirations. In the private sector or the public sector? Working with people. Do you have any opportunities? Or are you just kind of fishing? A person that leads a $40 million corporation and, and has the track record that we have has opportunities all the time. So when I leave, on, like as I, as I mentioned to, to somebody else, on, on July 31st, 2012, I'm going to gently close the Chardon door and I'm going to run through a new door with a new opportunity. I, I wanted my, the, the employees that I've hired here, in particular the, the school administrators, to know what my plans were. Uh, many of them came to this district because I recruited them here, uh, because they're outstanding people. I wanted them to know so they could they can kind of assess where they want to be in their own career. You know, I'm a, I'm a big uh, family first person. Uh, you need to take care of yourself, then your family next, and then your career th after that. Mm -hmm. uh, I talk about that with them all the time. Uh, and, and, and importantly, I wanted the Board of Education to have as much time as they needed because the process is quite lengthy and I'm going to help work with the process with them to find the next superintendent. This is a great district and I did not, because of my good relationship with this current board and quite frankly with all the boards since they've hired me in 2005, I wanted them to give them the courtesy of the time uh, to do a thorough job of, of securing the next superintendent for this office. If the board has, has, has a candidate, uh, if we have qualified candidates from within, they'll go through the, the natural process. Uh, but again, the important piece is the board needs to act, and get the process going, and not wait until May because I've given them the opportunity now to, to set the process in place, uh, advertise for the position, and, and, and physically go to those those areas where they where they get some uh, response. So wh whoever he or she is, uh, that person should be well researched, uh, th and that person should have ample time uh, to do their homework on Chardon schools as well. What are you most uh, proud of in, in your uh, seven years here? Uh, first and foremost, I'm, I'm I'm extremely proud of the of the talent uh, that we've continued to groom in our administrative team. Not only with existing staff who have been very loyal and stuck with Chardon schools for a number of years, uh, but the people that I've, I've been able to hire and bring here from other school districts, whether we've given them their first opportunity as being a principal or they've been an assistant principal somewhere else and, and, and come to our district uh, as principal, uh, I, I've, I've been helping to mentor them over, this, over the seven years being here, pretty much telling them and sharing with them everything that I've learned uh, so that they can take the good things they learned from me and hopefully repeat those things. And some of the items that they don't like or they can't stand that I do, hopefully they won't repeat those things. 